Now, recently I shared some ideas on the importance of getting out of debt. Having too much debt can control you and limit your future because you are enslaved to that debt, right? That debt controls and owns you. And so if you can get out of debt, uh, in many cases, not carrying excessive or uh, bad debt um, can, can actually be better than any investment that you could be making. So a few days ago, uh, I talked about the snowball approach to getting out of debt. I work with four main ways with my coaching clients on how to eliminate debt faster than just throwing money at it without some kind of plan or strategy. Uh, so today I wanna talk about the, the avalanche method. Um, I will be honest with you, this is my least favorite and least used method for helping my coaching clients get out of debt. But occasionally it makes sense to do a blend of the avalanche and the snowball, right? So you'll remember with the snowball approach, we need to line up all of our debts and figure out what's the minimum, what's the interest rate, how much are we actually paying. We then need to find that margin or that uh, additional debt drive down amount that we could then apply to the smallest balance. That way, as we as we clear that out, the, the, the minimum from the one we're attacking plus that extra drive down amount makes a bigger snowball, right? Then when we pay off the next one, we get a bigger snowball. When we pay off the next one, we get a bigger snowball. So the avalanche method is very similar, except for the approach is a little bit different. After lining up your debts and figuring out the minimum and what you're actually paying, with the avalanche, you attack things based on highest interest rate. Now, uh, usually uh, this does not shave additional time off, but it can shave significant interest off over the years. Uh, but the, the reason that this isn't my, my favorite approach is sometimes you have a really high interest credit card with a high balance, but you have something with a lower interest rate that has a smaller balance. And if you paid off that smaller balance, you would actually pick up that extra money, right? You would make your snowball bigger. So when you do attack that higher interest credit card or car loan or a payday loan or title loan or something, you actually have a bigger uh, snowball to attack it with, right? But in the avalanche, you set all of that aside and you would just go after the 28% credit card or the 300% payday loan or, or whatever the, the, the loan is, right? But sometimes, you can, you can be attacking that, and yes, you're saving on interest, but it's taking you six months to 18 months longer to, to shave that debt off simply by attacking it based off interest rate and not based off what frees up the most amount of cash flow or adds to the momentum or the gravity of your, your snowball for getting out of debt, right? Now, so for example, let, let's say that uh, you had a 0% interest credit card but you had a house loan with 5%, right? In, in that methodology, it would say, hey, let's, let's keep this going with the 0% credit card, right? We'll just keep bouncing it from one card to the next while we attack that 5% mortgage, right? But it may still take you 15 to 20 years to pay off that mortgage while you just continue to shift that 0% credit card down the block, right? It would actually make sense to just pay that off and then shift that extra money to the mortgage, right? So again, it's knowing good debts and bad debts and which of the four strategies makes the most sense to get you out of debt fastest, right? Okay, now um, you, you have to be very careful to not focus on all of your debt versus your bad debt, right? So for example, uh, if you were to compare a mortgage to a credit card, uh, I would say that a credit card is significantly worse than a mortgage, right? You have to have a place to live, but you don't need credit card debt, right? So when you, two, when you compare the two side by side, if you do apples to apples, that, that's where you just have to use some intelligence uh, and strategy to know which of these is my worst debt or which one's taking away the most cash flow from my family and then make an attack plan that way, okay? So now in the future, I'm going to do uh, videos on the two other debt elimination strategies. We've already covered the snowball method and now the avalanche method. Next, I'll be talking about velocity banking or personal loans that pay off big chunks of debt 
and then allow you to repurpose that cash flow. And then I'll talk about the cash flow indexing method as another way to get out of debt faster, which saves you money and also uh, saves you quite a bit of time. Uh, so we'll be going over that. I hope you found this video helpful. I want to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next video.